Coming up on this week's edition of The Point, the senior class decide what post they will reside at upon graduation, and the junior class purchase their class rings. Welcome to the United States Military Academy at West Point, New York. Home to 4,400 cadets. The oldest continuously occupied military post in the country, West Point sits on over 16,000 acres and is one of the largest school campuses in the world. Here, the leaders of tomorrow are trained. With over 40 majors to choose from, the Academy is one of the most highly regarded schools in the nation. The Academy offers 25 Division I sports and several of its athletes have participated in the Winter and Summer Olympic Games. But the Academy prepares a cadet for far more than just educational feats. It prepares them for joining the ranks of the finest army in the world. The Long Gray Line has produced many great leaders. And here we will take an inside look into their world. I'm your host, Specialist Alexandria Cornero, and this is The Point. It was another busy and fun-filled week at the United States Military Academy as both the first D and Cal classes marked important milestones in their West Point careers. Members of the class of 2011 ordered their West Point class rings at Eisenhower Hall and the entire corps cheered as Miss USA 2009 Kristen Dalton paid a visit and joined the cadets for lunch. Members of the soon-to-be graduating class held a wine tasting and the entire class attended post-selection. Post-selection is a time when the members of the senior class choose what installation they will head out to upon graduation. West Point cadets who are joining the engineer branch gathered together in Thayer Hall nervously awaiting their turn to select a post. The senior class attended post-selection night last week. Post-selection is the night when the first D class decides which post they will call their duty station. Members of the engineer branch of the class of 2010 nervously awaited their chance to stand up and declare a post from the available slots. One by one, they headed to the front with their classmates cheering them on. It was so rewarding to be able to stand up and just say, Stuart, and know that I was going to be a platoon leader down there. It's a huge relief once they know exactly where they can call home. I've been roaming around, always looking down at all I see. The class of 2011 headed down to Eisenhower Hall to purchase class rings. Cadets filed in and out all week, designing one of their most valuable mementos from the four years they spent at the academy. I guess it's just tradition, uh, knowing that I'm kind of like a part of the long gray line now and being able to say that I've I've accomplished something now, like as big as this. The popular custom of wearing a class ring originated here at the Academy with the class of 1835. Most Academy class rings bear a class crest on one side and the Academy crest on the other. The class crest represents the friendships they formed with their classmates over the years they spend here. The Academy crest molded on the other side serves as a way to remind the wearer of their alma mater and the ideals this institution was built upon. Calling it the warmest welcome she's ever received, Miss USA 2009 Kristen Dalton visited the U.S. Military Academy. She spent the day at the Academy where she lunched with cadets. Throughout the time she spent with cadets, Kristen shared her thoughts on how honorable what the cadets do here is and how thankful she was to have an opportunity to get to know a little bit about them. Members of the class of 2010 held a wine tasting at Cullum Hall. The cadets learned the basics of wine by tasting over 10 varieties. 
The class prepares the cadets for various balls and events they'll attend during their Army careers. They sampled wines from around the world to include wines from Africa and New Zealand. They received instruction on opening a bottle, coloring, pouring, smelling and tasting wine. While the class is educational, it also allows them to unwind after classes. Hello again. Well, this is the section of our show where we like to take the time out to answer any questions you have for the cadets here at the Academy. I'm standing here with Cadet John Gilmore, who's ready to answer the question of the week. The question of the week comes from Charles from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Charles asks, what is your favorite spot on campus and why? Well, my favorite spot is right here on the plane looking back at the school. The reason is because when I was a plebe, my squad there took me out here and uh, he says it's really easy to forget all your problems and really reaffirm why you came to West Point. So, Sometimes when I have a bad day, I'll come out here and just look at the, uh, the school. It's actually best at night when the lights are all lit up, but it's still very impressive right now, I think. Okay, and now we'll hear from some other cadets. Hi, my name is Cadet Lindsay Adeo, and my favorite location at West Point is Trophy Point. I love that it has a beautiful view, and it's very historic. Also, I was sworn in here when I was a freshman, and I plan to get pinned here as a senior on graduation day. And I also plan to get married here the day after graduation. So it's very near and dear to my heart. And again, it's a beautiful view. Hi, I'm Cadet TJ Giordano, and uh, I want to show you where my favorite place at West Point is. Come on in. Well, here it is. This is where I spend the majority of my time having a great time. These 2010 bunk beds, you, don't, you can't find this anywhere. I'm pretty excited about it. We don't even have our stuff on it yet. And now, let me show you the best part of the room. Come on. There it is. 1970 Circo. Bam! Watch this. Look. It's a pullout. Where do you find this stuff? Right? Come on. All right. Let's keep, going, keep on looking through. We got my bookshelf with all my great books. A lot of reading going on. Got my computer where I spend the majority of my time. My roommate stuff. We don't have to worry about that. And then let's see. We have our sabers. Pretty excited about that too. And the fact that we're seniors... There it is, the refrigerator, cold drinks, and maybe ice cream depending on the day. So this is pretty much where I sleep. Outside of that, this is where I spend the majority of my day. Actually, the majority of my day is spent right here, anytime I can. But I hope this answers your question, Charles, and have a good one. Welcome back. Here's a look at what's going on in sports. This coming Saturday and Sunday, swimming and diving and track and field compete in the Patriot League Championships. The rifle team competes in the GARC tournament, while Black Knights basketball and wrestling take on the midshipmen this coming Saturday. For more sports, information on times, locations, and tickets, please visit GoAmiSports.com. The sophomore class, also known as Yearlings, recently held its winter weekend. The Yearling Winter Weekend consists of many activities throughout the weekend and culminates with a banquet. This year, Lieutenant Colonel Retired John Nagel was the guest of honor. Well, that's it for this week's edition of The Point. I'm your host, Specialist Alexandria Cornero, and this is The Point. So wrong for so long, only trying to please myself. Girl, I was caught up in her lust when I don't really want to. We're about to take another look at some of the other favorite spots of the cadets here at the Academy. And this is the best part of this room right here. Boom. 1970 couch. Uh. I'm on the top bunk. When I sit up in bed, I could hit my head on the ceiling, which is nice. Well, it sounds like you and your spot have a great time. Always. Always. Well, that's all the time we have right now. The question of the week comes from... Charles in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Charles. <laughs>
<laughs> Ash, where is your favorite spot on West Point and why? Well, my favorite spot on West Point is right here on the plane, looking back at the school. I am ready. Hello again. Well, this... <laughs> I was almost ready. <laughs> Will Ferrell was born. Yeah. And he was like 38 years old or whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, let me start over. <laughs> My beans don't burn, go to brittle. I got me ham in the pan. Uh huh, uh huh. Moving on up, don't give up. And moving up across the land. Now we're into the big league. Big league. Scott is sitting over there. Over there. He don't give a damn, he won't clap his hands. But he likes to shake his hair. Oh, his moving hair. Moving on up. Moving on up. To the top, we finally got a piece of the pie. Yeah. <laughs>